is Hayi train station, close to the village of Hayi, on the Somme. Hayi remained behind the lines for most of the war and was used by medical units. These medical units started the Hayi Station Military Cemetery in May 1916. They were the ruins of an old chateau in the village of Hayi. During the war, some soldiers were buried in isolated graves on the chateau's property. These graves were later removed and only the ruins today remain. Quite isolated, the cemetery is situated just a few hundred meters south of the station. At Hei, casualty clearing stations often had to carry burials under extreme pressure. Bodies were often buried really close from each other. As a consequence, when the permanent headstones were erected, there was often not enough room for individual ones. Soldiers were often buried quite close from each other. So much so that after the war, it was often impossible to put individual headstones. Many headstones thus carry two or even sometimes three names on it. In the latter case, it was impossible to put badges on the headstones. These badges can now be found on the cloister wall of the cemetery. Walter Churches was a contractor from Victoria, Australia. He joined the army on the 1st of April 1916. In 1917, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Order and promoted a Lieutenant Colonel. Exactly two years after he joined, the tent under which he was with other officers was hit by a shell. Walter Churchill was killed instantly. He was 38 years old. British, Australian, New Zealand, Canadian or even German soldiers are buried in this cemetery. Walter Churches is only one of the 2,890 men who now lay in this peaceful resting place. <laughs>